Today, I promise you to always be there for you, to be your partner in crime, <laughs> and to always stay corny and never leave your side. I am who I'm meant to be. I am who I'm meant to be. Hi. Say hi, Ella. What's up guys? I wanted to show you something I've been working on. Um, as you guys might know, it was Tiffany and I's fifth year wedding anniversary on June 20th, same day as Carter's birthday. So we kind of knew since the day he was born on our one year wedding anniversary that it was gonna pretty much overshadow our entire anniversary every year. But we always said like we really wanna make sure that it's not completely overshadowing it. Um, and we still do something special. Uh, we did go to dinner. Um, but I had ordered her this ring that she showed me that she really liked online um, through Brilliant Earth and it was perfect that she wanted it from somewhere online because I don't have time to be going to a jewelry store and you know one of our biggest things in life is we don't keep secrets from each other so you know for me to be like oh I'm gonna go play around round of golf but really be sitting in a jewelry store like that was one of the hardest things when buying her engagement ring to be honest was not telling her exactly where I was going. It just came today, I'm super excited. Thank goodness she was dropping Carter off at Bible camp. Um, I knew it was coming today, I, I knew I had to be here to sign for it. So, oh, you just rubbing me, baby? You're so sweet. So, I was like, yeah, why don't you go get your nails done and stuff too. I was trying to buy myself a little bit of a window. But um, I'm gonna go open it now and then I gotta figure out when I'm gonna give it to her. You gotta make it special, right? So it's got the rose gold band. Not really doing it justice here on camera, but I think she's gonna love it. I love like all the extra little details, the little wooden box that it comes in. The fact that they send some jewelry cleaner, which is always needed. And I don't know, I just, I wish I found them sooner, like when I was buying Tiff's engagement ring, because they're such a great company and they've made my life so much easier right now. So another thing I really love about Berlin Earth that I was just kind of reading up about them is how they give back to the mining communities to build a brighter future. Um, you know, just seeing that they donate to help prevent child labor and things like that. Any company that's just going to give back is one that I would want to support so we really love Brilliant Earth and all uh, that they've and done. Seeing the craftsmanship in some of these other rings I'm going to have to hide this to make sure that Tiffany doesn't find it because she will definitely want more. Look how gorgeous that is. So I switched kids here. I spent like five minutes trying to get it focused and it's so hard to capture probably because it's so shiny um, but I really want to take her back to where we got married for dinner. Kidless. Definitely kidless. Especially the ones that get in the dog food. All right, so we just actually got to where we're going to dinner and uh, I couldn't wait. I was too excited. I didn't want it to be like some weird cheesy moment where I pretend to propose to her or something because um, that already happened actually in this spot we're at. But I gave her this beautiful ring. It's so gorgeous, I love it. Kind of completes your... We'll have to do like a close up later, but... It definitely completes your set, right? It does, but... <laughs> like that's it, it's what's, done. What's so like random and like kind of unrelated is the amount of bands that I have. Cause like we always said like one stood for Carter, one stood for Tanner. Cause one he gave me at my baby shower for Carter. That's my push present. Mm -hmm. And then this one is like different. It's rose gold and the diamonds are a little bit bigger. Ella. But it, I just feel like it kind of is like, you know, two boys and a girl. We'll I don't forget know. Just what like they're actually for feels sentimental. years from now. Why am I getting emotional already? I don't know, but it's been the best five years of my life. And what, like seven years ago, like I said, we're in the spot that I proposed to Tiffany in a bank parking lot. But for those of you who don't know the story, it was this sweet story where I pretended to break down and Tiffany was, you were pretty caught off guard. I was very ca caught off guard because I always thought he was going to propose because he would like say things and I'd always think he was going to propose so it was a random Tuesday night I was on my first fall break mm -hmm. from nursing school we were supposed to go to a happy hour somewhere so I was like somewhat decent like I wasn't super dressed up or anything like that and he told me that his car broke down because I had been saying that it smells even though it was a newer car at the time 
I pulled into here and it was cold and he was like come come like see the smoke coming I want you to come out. check this out I got dry ice that was supposed to be coming out of the hood you could barely kind of tell but um thought Tiffany was like some mechanic who could look at my, it and tell me what was going had, on my old car had recently done something crazy like that remember yeah I basically had to like pull you out I'm like come on I was like please. it's freezing why <laughs> up before dinner I'm gonna mess up come on do it stop I feel like one of the reasons why I'm getting so emotional though is like how fast time goes I know and you know like I can't believe like our baby is four it is it's just like but it's sad that this is like the first time we've got to like really celebrate I know we actually been back here so we've been have we been back here? Like one time, but like when you have kids, you just kind of like forget about Honey. important things. Well, I'm fine. I just, I'm, ha I'm happy. I'm just like a little sad that it took five years for us to. We've been busy. <laughs> we know. had Carter on our one year wedding anniversary and then a couple more came after him if you didn't know that. I know. It's my damn period. Turn the air conditioner up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about the noise here. Um, <laughs> I wanted to say one more thing without crying. The reason why we are here tonight instead of where we got married is because I called to make reservations and it's now just a wedding venue and not a restaurant. It used to be a restaurant as well. It was a place called The Mill in Spring Lake and um, a little bit disappointed, but this is much closer I and it's bringing back the same feels, obviously. I'm going to try to to be like on the positive side, but I did like think of us like bringing our family there and be like, this is where mom and dad got married, but we could still like just like show them. We'll make it work. On the way to the beach one day or something. Somebody you know? who knows the chef out there at the mill, tell them and we, we want to. And we never got to go, because remember if, if you did go back to the mill for your one year wedding anniversary, which obviously we had Carter that day. They got the cake. They yeah. remade your cake, your wedding cake for you too. They did. We should find out the name because they did like delicious gluten-free wedding cakes. They did. We, I know that we have it saved somewhere, but maybe we could at least still have that. I it, wasn't gluten-free then, was we I? We could, no. you, I was. We you could, were. We could sit in our car and look at the mill and eat cake we could. to go. Let's see if we could finish the whole cake. <laughs> it's a video on its own. But one thing that I want to say is to make sure to remember your relationship because it is really important and I feel like that's like one of the reasons why I feel like parenting has been easy like it's because we love each other first and respect each other first but we need to make more time for each other too it is it's hard because even on our way here we talked about the kids all the time the but that's, time. that's normal because they're <laughs> they're our life and they are you know one day they'll be out of the house and I thought we have of to one make other sure that we still have each thing. other is the first place my dream wedding destination. My uncle had gotten married there and I loved it. It was actually, you actually got married on the actual beach. Um, I was set, like I knew even before we were married, like that's where I want to get married. And uh, was it Hurricane Sandy? Completely I washed think, yeah, it away. Yeah, we were like- We, we, we were engaged. We were, right, we were planning to go look at it and then literally we called to see if we could co still go look at it and it was, not there anymore um but then so they sad. rebuilt it into a yacht club but now after the, mill, the time that we yeah hit, right but now the mill is only for weddings right but at least we can go like look at it and eventually show our kids one day mm -hmm. um but it doesn't really matter where you get married as long as you marry your best friend i would have gone to the courthouse and some days i wish i would have just done that to Definitely. save us some money but <laughs> But there as are so long many. as we have each other, right? Well, our reservation is in a couple of minutes, and I would like to eat. Yes. And have a yummy cocktail. We'll be right back, and we'll talk a little bit more about it. When we our... come back, Chris will cry this time. I'll Promise. be done crying. Promise. I'm an emotional hot mess.
Dinner was amazing. It was. It was really, really good. It made us think about our wedding. It did. And, um, I don't know. I kind of want to relive it. There were so many good parts of it. There were. You know? The number one thing is that we never left each other's side. We We never split up. I know, like, a lot of couples, like, will split up and say, thank you, this person, or we just stayed together on the dance floor the entire night. Right. Whether a bunch of people were out there or it was just us, we didn't really care. Yeah, I know. We just enjoyed every second of it. We're out there having a blast, and we had, like, the most beautiful day. That's one of the things that, like, people, I feel like, worry about is whether you're going to have good weather for your wedding, and I really don't think it. It rained for our engagement party that was outside a Mm -hmm. barbecue. It rained for our shower, but we always said, we're like, we don't care as long as it doesn't rain on our wedding day because we wanted to get married outside, but there was always a backup location inside, but we got to get married outside and it was beautiful. It was like a light breeze. Right by a lake and there's like this nice little gazebo and, um... There's this hot guy at the end of the aisle waiting for me. Mm -hmm. I was waiting. (laughs) I got my wish. Tiffany, as I stand here today before you and all of our friends and family... I can honestly say that this is the happiest day of my life. Writing my vows was simple. I didn't need to use Google or ask Siri. I simply listened to the feelings of my heart and transferred them to this paper. I promise to continue to do all the things that made you fall in love with me and never become complacent in showing my love for you. I promise to never let you feel alone in this world. Instead, you should always feel as though the world revolves around you. I promise to always have fun with you as we keep each other young and never let you let that new love feeling go. No matter how hectic or stressful our lives together may as a married couple and f- parents to our children may be, I promise to work with you to overcome obstacles that may come our way. You may be the nurse of the family, but I was raised by a builder and a teacher. And if I learned anything from my parents, it's that a marriage is built around a strong moral foundation and the ability to continue to learn from our mistakes and allow our love to grow stronger every day. I always dreamed of finding someone who would love me and care about me as much as I knew I was capable of loving and caring for someone. When I found you, I knew my dream had come true. I promise to never take you for granted. Chris, put it on. Chris, where do I begin? Today is the happiest day of my life. I get to marry the most amazing man. You're my best friend, and I vow to always be yours. You're the kindest, most genuine person I've ever met. You don't judge. You're forgiving of others. You have such a positive outlook on life. And to top it off, you're gorgeous, both inside and out. I vow to try and be more like you. I always felt, like you said, something was missing until November 2009, when I found you, my better half. Who would have known your genius Facebook pickup line, what is a beautiful girl like you doing single, would be the start of a lifetime of happiness together. (laughs) I vow to always remember where we started and how far we've come. You make me the luckiest girl in the world. You love me for exactly who I am. (laughs) You know me better than I know myself. I know that whatever life throws my way, that I'll be okay because I have you. I vow to always trust you. Listen when you tell me to breathe, and I'll remind you too. Today, I promise you to always be there for you, to be your partner in crime. And to always stay corny and never leave your side. (laughs) On this day, I give you my heart, my promise that I will walk with you hand in hand, wherever our journey leads us, living, learning, loving, Mm -hmm. together, forever. It is with great joy and happiness and my honor to now pronounce you husband and wife. Chris, you may kiss your beautiful bride. Family and friends, it is a great pleasure to introduce you for the very first time in a new relationship as husband and wife, Chris and Tiffany Beeston!
love you, Tiffy. Welcome to the family, Chris. You're the best big sister ever, and I'm so happy that you and Chris got married. It's official now, and he's part of the family, and I wish you guys the best. Absolutely the best night we've ever had. Couldn't have come together any better. I have the most beautiful, amazing bride and wife, and I'm so happy and lucky to have you. I'm going to cherish you forever and be the best father to your children. Whoa there. <laughs> Um, same to you. I'm so lucky. We had the most beautiful day. Even though some things went wrong, it's still the most amazing day. And I wouldn't have wished for anything else. And I promise to love you and cherish you forever, even when we're old and fat and watching this video. How can it be that right here with me there's an angel? It's a miracle. We want you back, honey. Leave Chris and come on back home. Just kidding. Love you. <laughs> Still loving your ring? I do. I love it so much. It's perfect. It is just slightly a little bit big, which we can have that resized easily. We'll I send it back. And Brilliant Earth is awesome. I'm glad you showed me that ring. So gorgeous and I'm obsessed with it and I really do just feel like it symbolizes each of our babies. It does. Well, we gotta get home because those babies are gonna be up early. It's 10 21 it's past our bedtime. It is. Yeah right we always go to bed at like midnight because we're always trying to get way too much stuff done before we go to bed. But you know I didn't I got home last night so late. I know you do need some rest. I got home at 2 a.m. and woke up at 7 a.m. clubbing. Yeah, clubbing, the aka hospital. telling my sister to push at the hospital. <laughs> Baby Scarlet is telling here. I still can't believe it. I miss her already. She's so cute. Oh, obsessed. She's perfect in that little dimple. And She is. She's adorable. You want one more? To be continued? We'll talk about it later in private without all of YouTube watching. <laughs> She's nah. pregnant. That was so rude. So many people said, I put on my story that I was like, this date's going to be extra special tonight just because it's, you know, where we got engaged. And it is. This is not like a regular date. Like, no. we drove pretty far to get here, you know? Like, it's just extra special date place. And everyone's like, literally, not not anything else, but like, the two words, you're pregnant. You're pregnant. Like, my DM's like, you're pregnant, you're pregnant, you're pregnant. And then they'll be like, I called it. But I'm definitely not pregnant and I thoroughly enjoyed my wine. Mm-hmm. We hope you enjoyed, or will enjoy, depending on when we put in wedding footage. But I'm putting it in, and I'm going to make Tiffany cry with it. Pretty easy. That's to do. my goal. <laughs> Don't forget, subscribe and like this video. And we hope to show you more and more of our in-depth relationship. Because we love each other, and we like to share it. Is that alright? You're so corny. Whatever. Okay. See you guys. I do love you, though. I love you, too. Away from the shore, amongst the waves Exactly where I wanna be I am where I wanna be Remember the start, remember the start When my future needing clarity Yes, I needed clarity So I could see how it